Welcome back to Monetized History. My name is Daniel, and today we're going to be talking about Honduras and Mayan ruins. The obverse of the note is dominated by two graphical elements, the Honduran coat of arms and a portrait of Linca war chief Limpira, for whom the Honduran currency was named in 1931. Limpira is considered a precursor to Honduran independence from Spain since he is said to have organized the greatest resistance to Spanish domination during the colonial period. Modern legend says that he united 200 tribes and amassed an army of 30,000 soldiers in 1537 before being killed by the Spanish. On the left of the note is the national coat of arms. Above the shield of the arms is a quiver of arrows representing the valor of the native groups and two cornucopias representing the abundance of Honduras. The motto around the shield reads, Republic of Honduras, free, sovereign, and independent. Inside the shield is a pyramid in the shape of an equilateral triangle representing equality under the law. The towers represent defensive strength, the rainbow represents peace, the sun represents reason, and the volcano represents Honduras' past as part of the Central American Republic. Below the shield are three pine trees, three oak trees, mines, and mining equipment. These represent the natural and mineral wealth of Honduras. The reverse of the note features the Mayan ruins of Copan, the capital of an ancient Mayan kingdom that flourished from the 5th to the 8th century. To the right of the main vignette is Stella H, featuring the likeness of Copan's 13th ruler, Huashaklahun Uba Kawil, or 18 Rabbit. He was responsible for the construction of the staircase and ball court featured in the vignette. The stairway is lined with hieroglyphs that archaeologists are still reconstructing and forms the longest known Mayan text. In the center of the note is the ball court. It is one of the largest in the world, but no one is quite sure how the ancient ball game was played. The current incarnation of the Honduran 1 Limpira banknote has been circulating since 2000 and features many modern security features. At the top of the note is a perfect registration mark reminiscent of the architectural features found at the Copan ruins in western Honduras. On either side of the central one are latent images of the initials of the central bank, visible by tilting the note. Fluorescent fibers are distributed throughout the cotton paper of the note, and the denomination is printed in hidden fluorescent ink. Unusually, this modern note does not have a watermark or any microprinting. This note can be found on eBay for around $2, but it has a face value of about 4 US cents. And now for the trivia. Are you ready? The portrait on the one Limpira note was designed by Stanley Doubtfire. Name one other banknote portrait he has engraved. If you think you know, let me know in the comments and I'll reveal the answer tomorrow. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed it. What was your favorite part of the note? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe.